What's up guys, I'm John and you're watching Johnny Fabs and today we're working on our Datsun and today we're going to be working on our turbo manifold. So since we got our front end done, our intercoolers mounted, our bash bars made up, uh, we have our uh, pump system on with our power steering pump and alternator and all the spacings right. Now I'm going to start building our manifold, that way I know everything's going to fit how it is. Um, so to start off we have some Summit, um, I think these are Flowtech forward facing LS manifolds uh, and they have a 3 inch V band on them already. So we're going to be building off of those and uh, for our turbo we are running a Borg Warner S475 with a T6 uh, exhaust housing so a pretty big exhaust housing with the 5 inch um, exhaust. So we're going to try and make this fit in there. And uh, for supplies, I have some two and a half inch stainless. And for our merge, I have this T6 with two, two and a half inch uh, tubes. And our tube fits in there. Uh, it's like recess, so it's going to be nice to make it. And then it's drilled and tapped for our flange. So we're going to be building everything off of that. And then I had some two and a half inch V bands. Um, to make stuff disconnect and then I already went ahead and cut this straight piece into a bunch of pie cuts so I can make some uh, 90s and other angles and uh, I have this bellow we'll use this later for any flex between the two headers and then uh, you can see I already went ahead and got the v-band and I made up a 90 so we can turn it down but since this is three inch and our tubing is two and a half I had to use this um, reducer here. So we got those tapped for now. And so we're gonna start building off of that and get our turbo placed in the motor. And since this thing is so heavy, I'm gonna be using the cherry picker um, to lift it and place it because uh, this thing weighs a ton. So in order to do that, I made up this little plate with two holes so I can bolt it to our turbo. And then we can put a chain on this and hoist it in there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bolt this on and we'll get our turbo, uh, see where it's going to fit and work good in our setup. So, yep, let's get to it. Alright guys, so I just mocked up this flange down here, that's our merge collector. Um, and then I just have it welded to some um, bars and then just tacked on. Um, that way I can remove it later. But eventually we'll build the support, but right now it's just uh, mocked up. And we use the cherry picker to uh, get the turbo in the right location. And then uh, I'll start building my tubes down into it from here. But I think I'm going to start with cutting these uh, flanges back, this black line, um, just because it's going to give us more room. Because I need to run my intercooler piping through here and through here. So I want as much room as I can. So I'm going to start by doing that. We'll move those back, get those tacked on, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so I just got the passenger side all welded up. Um, I went ahead and did that before I started on the other side because I knew once I uh, got it all welded, it's going to warp and change the dynamics of the other side. So I already got that side welded up. You can see all the pie cuts welded, and then it has that uh, flex joint 
bellow going in and then I had the turbo on the trigger picker keeping it because that flux pipe will bend uh, with just the weight of that turbo so yeah I'm gonna start on the other side and uh, then we can eventually make a support for the turbo to keep that up because that thing definitely is gonna need one or it's gonna crack this manifold so yeah you can see it it's pretty tight but there is room um, for the water pump and, uh, and then it's away from the plastic electric fans so eventually we'll have a turbo blanket so I'm not too worried about it but yeah we're gonna get started on this side so I just got the driver side uh, tubing routed and uh, here's a look at it inside it's got the flex pipe that's what I was waiting on um, so we got pie cuts coming down another pie cuts and then it has that bellow um, and then pie cuts and then coming in the merge so all that's left is I have to weld it to the merge I have to weld that bellow in and then this side has to be fully welded in so yeah just keeping you guys updated and then the reason I had to come uh, down and over is because that compressor uh, housing is in the way so it still clears the sway bar good and next after I weld it fully up I am going to uh, fit the wastegates so we have two 44 millimeter wastegates here so we're gonna hopefully fit those in there it's gonna be tight but we'll make it work and then we still have to figure out the five inch exhaust uh, let me know if you guys think five inch is overkill that's what is on the turbo housing this t6 but uh, I've seen some reducers to drop it down to four inch so let me know what you guys think uh, that'll probably be soon once we uh, get everything finished on this uh, turbo manifold and then I also plan on running a support because those flex pipes will just uh, break without uh, support so yeah just keeping you guys updated here's a look at it uh, it's coming out pretty good alright so I just got the turbo put on uh, so you guys can see the fitment uh, just a mock up right now and then I made that little tight radius pie cut uh, just for temporary I don't even know if I'm gonna have to use that now it does look like I have a lot of space but yup clears the uh, compressor housing pretty good and uh, could get more room if needed but uh, yeah should be fine and then uh, clears the water pump if you guys can see and then this is we could get more room because this has the spacing for the truck spacing with the LS1 uh, water pump to clear the LS1 throttle body so if the, with the right combination we could get rid of those spacers get a different crank pulley and uh, move everything back to create create more room but right now it's pretty good we got about half inch and then that is clearing so uh, yeah I'm uh, gonna go ahead and pull this turbo off now that I know everything is good and then uh, start fully welding up that driver's side and then we'll call it good So I just finished up the driver side uh, welding up that side and got it welded up to the merge. Uh, so that's going to be it for the turbo uh, manifold. Um, I just have to weld on the wastegates and we got these in. Uh, these are tile off of eBay. Uh, they're actually knockoffs but they look pretty legit. Uh, I opened them up and all the diaphragms look, uh, look legit. So. Uh, should work. These are only like $130 rather than a uh, real tile, which is like $400 each. So, uh, yeah, we're just, they, I've heard good things about them as long as you check the uh, diaphragms. So 
So we're going to be running those, taking a little bit of a chance, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, a little bit on a budget, so we didn't want to blow it and get stalled out on simple parts, and we can always just change those later. So yeah, that's going to be our wastegates, two 44 millimeter tiles. That should be plenty enough for this setup uh, with the two and a half inch uh, crossover tube. Um, so I wanted to make sure we had two because this is a divided uh, crossover and divided turbo. Um, so we're going to place those yet. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to fit, um, but we'll make them fit. But I think that's going to be it for this video on making the crossover tube hot side uh, for this turbo build. Um, so yeah, check out my older videos on this LS swapped Datsun and then stay tuned for more. We're going to be making the intercooler piping um, for this setup and uh, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that and please hit that like button and uh, if you made it this far, comment pie cuts. Uh, that way I know you know you guys are watching all the way through but yeah i think that's going to be it for this video so please hit that like button comment what you think and peace out